Hello, boy. We are reading some more Re Zero, chapter 107, with the final trap. Uh, it, uh, and a, a um, comma after it, strangely. Not sure if it's a typo, if that's actually in the title. But, um, over, since we're starting here with Super, I assume we're going back in time. Because after safely finding Luz and reconvening with him. Okay, so. Yeah, this was the signal. Still have no even guesses as to where Amelia could possibly be. No idea. Like, we've checked everywhere that, we're, that we already know about, right? Where have we not checked? And damn, we're going back to this? Yeah, if a cornered Garfield uh, injures him, then Otto would just spew out all the information. Exactly what I thought, too. Like, why wouldn't he? But, uh, yeah, as, as we're seeing, that he is, he's much stronger than that. So, I mean, is there something more to Otto that we don't know? Or is he just that? Is he just that tough? Just that that strong of a bastard? We're really going with sizable hair instead of the great rabbit in this. That is that is okay. I'm not using that. I am just straight up not using that. No, no, not doing it. Oh boy, looks like we're getting some sort of monologue sort of thing. Otto Suen is a character. There is not a character abounding in physical ability. So yeah, he's got some self-defense. We've seen that. <laughs> Even in this battle, he's still smiling. It's a merchant's principle to always smile during disagreements. Hmm. Sure, so he's looking at this battle like just another another day on his job. Just another disagreement he has to get over. So, you know, he can accept the stress and deal with it in, in a better way if he just accepts that. Yeah, I mean, Otto is not trying to win this or anything. There's no goal for him. I mean, well, the goal is to keep Garfield on him. But, like, he just has to fake another goal. Like, just, just keep keep Garfield on you, keep him away from Sanctuary. That's really all we need to do here. There's no, like, he doesn't have to worry about winning. He doesn't have to worry about not dying. Hmm, okay. So, <clears throat> there was... I'm not sure what the upflung leaves is supposed to be. And a spell stone, I guess. Or is the... Did he turn the leaves into the winged bugs? I'm actually not sure. If somebody could leave a comment and explain what this is referencing. I don't know what that means. But anyway, it was it was a... It was a, you know... It, it enraged Garfield. Gets his, gets his aggro back on him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if he catches you... If Garfield catches you, Otto might be dead. He might be fucking killed. Uh, where did I, just, I think I jumped back a page back then, yeah. Um, but, so, staying hidden is... But, I mean, staying hidden from Garfield, how long can you possibly do that? Now I'm counting on you, and then... Uh, Otto loses a high-pitched voice. Huh? He loses a high-pitched voice. Hmm? In accordance with the signals, okay. So I, I don't know what he means by Otto loses a, a uh, high-pitched voice. Never heard that before. But I guess uh, he was doing it to call some sort of animal. Okay, so birds dropping shit and dirt on him. Is that what just happened? The wood mice up on the top of the tree, okay. They're globs. <laughs> I, I guess he just means the end of the glob that fell down. So it is just glob. They are, it's just a thing that wood mice have. Wood mice are not a real thing, right? They have these globs, I don't know. Okay, so he, he, was, he was getting it though, like, oh, you know, this is no wounding power, like, <laughs> the translation of this, I thought it was okay, I don't know, it's so fucking bizarre, like, I don't know, it feels so weird, feels like it's being written by someone who, English is like their fourth language, but still, uh, yeah, he, he seems to be catching on, uh, to all this, but, uh, something else is happening, okay, so it, yeah, it's attracting other, other insects and stuff, 
big ones, apparently. Jesus, these things, oh my god, they're fucking, they're huge, they're centipedes, and they're just eating shit. Like, what is happening in this chapter? Okay, so they like the tree food that were mixed in, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure this is half auto, it's just like such a weird scene. Okay, thank God, see so, yeah, okay, Gargoyle couldn't kill any of them, thank God. Like, you know, they're they're awful centipede monsters, but, uh, they're, they're not bad, they didn't mean any harm. But damn, yeah, and he's destroyed everything trying to stop that. So, like, yeah, he, he has been, like, setting up little things throughout all that, like, this isn't just calling upon them, he had to go and walk each of these little animals and insects through what the plan was and all that and he's giving each of them some some stuff and everything like he is <laughs> it's so weird to have a merchant and an animal like uh, uh you know a doolittle uh it's it's like combined into the same thing it works so well together but i would never have thought that so what who is this Okay, so those were all the, yeah, voices of animals, bugs, and everything like that. Hmm, he actually used it to help absolve himself of false charges. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good use of it. Yeah, so, you know, living in the city, he hasn't had to deal with this many voices that much, but now, yeah, demanded comprehension from them. Jesus, so it's, yeah, it's really trying, like, he is running himself ragged because his brain has to try and process everything. Great, so now his blood is leaking, or his blood is leaking, his blood is, is leaking from his nose, um, it, otherwise known as a nosebleed. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he's, he's so, definitely reaching a limit. I mean, that is an interesting question to ask. Why was Otto supporting Subaru so much to this degree? I mean, that is, you know, you always take it for granted in series where you're like, you know, why are they doing it? Like, I think people always forget that with Subaru and Amelia. Like, why does Subaru love Amelia so much? Because Amelia saved his fucking life. Like, and it's the same with Otto. Like, I kind of, you know, it slips my mind too. Where I'm like, why does Otto support him so much? And it's like, well, yeah, he did save his life. Which, if somebody saved your life in real life, this is going to be a pretty big, impactful moment. You're going to, I mean, if you already know that person and everything, it's not like Otto and Subaru didn't know each other. It's not like they were strangers. Saving a stranger's life is a little bit different versus it being your friend and you saved their life. You're probably going to see that person in a much different degree. You are going to be ride or die for that person, you know, it, for, for a friend or, you know, if they're someone that you're into, you're going to be, or even like just, you know, a friend of the opposite sex and then something like that happens that could spark something completely different. It's the whole, uh, the, um, suspension bridge effect, right? Is that what it is? Suspension bridge effect? Where, um, you know, I don't remember the exact, uh, scenario of why it's called the suspension bridge effect other than being on a suspension bridge. It's dangerous. Uh, tensions are, are raised. Um, I think it was something like a, a survey was being done and they did it like before or after the bridge and then on the bridge and the, the results, I don't remember exactly what it was, but essentially, you know, danger, heightened sense of danger and things like that, uh, going into saving your life and everything that coming out fine at the end, uh, definitely increases anything to do with a relationship and any kind of relationship, platonic, romantic, no matter what. So like, you know. You want to say, like, why was he supporting us so much? But it, it, it really is as as clear and cut as he saved his life. And, I mean, that is the truth. And, and there could be more to it as well as that. But, I mean, like, that is not to be understated. You know, we shouldn't take that for granted. So, yeah, there there is there is more to it. Otto's reason for having faith in Super and helping him was ludicrously unprofound. Hmm. Thinking that no one can understand you, perplexed and troubled, it's all something that I should know better than anyone else. Hmm. 
what happened with his family and could no longer see his family but like I, you know, I, I didn't think about that, but this is almost like telepathy. You want to say, like, but he can't hear people's thoughts. He can only hear thoughts of animals. But, like, if you're going over to your friend's house and then your dog's like, hey, do you know this guy jerks off to piss porn? Like, you know, that's going to be, it's going to, you know, really fuck with your friendship a little bit. <laughs> so, I, I get it. It is almost like telepathy in a way. You can't control what, what, you know, your best friend's dog is saying about your best friend. Hmm, this is very interesting. I never thought about this this side of it, but he knew how irritating it was to know something, but be unable to fully communicate it, despite giving an explanation. Ah, oh, it conferred him the resigned frustration of, well, nobody would understand it anyway. Yeah. Damn, so that's why Otto is so well. I mean, besides the fact that he's just his friend and everything like that, Besides the base levels of shit, the secondary level of it is that, like, yeah, Otto is like, I get it, you know, you're not going to be able to explain it to me, you're explaining it to me the best you can, and I'm not going to be the kind of person who's like, ugh, but why can't you just say it? I, he knows. You can't just say it. There's some reason you can't just say it. Even if you did say it, I wouldn't fucking get it anyway. So, bada bing, bada boom, baby. We're, this whole arc is all about finding people who actually understand Subaru not in a full way like let's not try and be like oh they fi they finally understand Subaru like but they're able they're able to get that window in you know Otto is able to understand why Subaru doesn't say these things so we can trust him very easily Rosewall is mistaken about return by death but he knows it in a way so we now have like a villain that knows but it's also kind of cathartic in a way because we can still sort of talk about it in a way that we can't really talk about it but you know, we could talk around it. And then you have uh, Echidna, who is just straight up, like, the one who knows everything about it. But she is also, you know, trying to manipulate us using it at the same time. So, but it's just nice to be, just nice to have people we can finally talk to about it. Oh, shit. Uh, is that, that's gotta be Garfield, right? Found him? Oh, call Tiff's jab into his torso. Oh, Damn, not good, not good. Yeah, he's... Oh. He's, not, he's such a normal person. He's just taking such a beating. He's just a, he's just a guy. He's just a frail kid, man. Oh, and there goes Otto's ribs. Oh, and his limbs flap uselessly. I mean, I don't think they're broken or anything. He's just, like, flailing around. Okay, so we, that's what was going on. The, it was just a bunch of leaves in there, and there was bugs under the leaves. That's all it was. By upturned leaves. It's weird to say upturned leaves, because that's not what it was. They were in the carriage, right? Because uh, he says, in the... Uh, uh, well, I mean, then he says in the carriage. Maybe that wasn't in the carriage. Maybe that was just outside the carriage or something. <laughs> the birds led him into a field of poison flowers. <laughs> I like that we're getting, like, more than we even saw in, in his speech here. Hmm... Okay, so Garfield's caught on to him. He knows about his blessing and all that. Should have been pretty, pretty easy to get, but again, Garfield's kind of dumb. Uh, his gaze lands on an open clearing. There's a gathered mass of white light. Hmm. Indeed, a being of... Wait, it is instead... Hmm? It, oh, it instead being a mass of mana so thick that it is visible to the naked eye. Okay, what the fuck? Hmm? That, he thinks that's gonna overpower himself, Garfield? Hmm. What is it? That, that's Otto's mana, huh? There's no way Otto has that much mana to be able to overcome Garfield. What? Oh my god, what if it's like a fucking healing thing? Like, he's throwing Otto at it. What if it's fucking gonna heal him? Tumbles across the ground, hurtling into the high, dense white mana. It is white mana. I mean, what is that? His eyes spin, his tongue numbs, his nose bleeds streams without end. 
trap, the final trap, flung into it, and now there was something happening. I'll watch till it's over. <laughs> hmm. He might have asked you something. Hmm. Putting his hand to the ground, Otto frantically uprights himself. Garfield's eyes shoot open in shock, not having conceived that Otto could still move. <laughs> yeah, it's a very satisfying feeling. Succeed in the deeds of which others believed you and Cable was entertaining. It truly was. Yes, yes. <laughs> how many trees have you felled, and how much earth have you gouged open? Oh, is that the fucking forest, Mana? The greatness of the quantity of mana stockpiled here where I am is because that is how greatly you've angered the forest. That is what it means. And the forest is giving me its life energy. <laughs> I tried looking up what Kanto means. I have no idea. It's just a song. So I'm not sure what that means by the bounty mass transmits through the whole of auto taking shape in the world by means of a song. I don't know. Okay. So he just fucking yeeted him out of the forest. God damn. I was not expecting auto to just go super sane with forest energy. Yeah, I mean, Garfield is a pretty big, strong bad guy for anybody in the forest, and for most of us right now. So, uh, it's understandable how they would go along with this trap. This time for sure? What does that mean? That hopefully it's over, it's done, hopefully his job is, is done? I mean, Garfield's back up, though. You're out of moves. Yeah, thus here is where Otto's resi uh, resistance ends. Right, he's, he's given up now, assumingly. That's what it sounds like, but I still have my doubts. Has he done everything he could? I mean, I can't imagine what else he could possibly do. Yeah, he played every card he had. Yeah, he's, he's done all he could possibly do. Now it's all up to Subaru to find Amelia. Huh. What he yells is no bloodlust, no hostility, but a name. Garf. Garf? Garfield, Garf. Hmm. A silhouette leaps from the treetops overhead. Wanted to send it toward him, so that's what he was looking at. And also, why is this a question mark, question mark for him? Oh, wait, wait, was this trying to say that this line was supposed to be in relation to these lines here? That's a really weird way to write it. Because then they're saying, you know, no, it's still but a name. And, but then what he meant was done here. I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, that's got to be what they were talking about, but I'm not sure why this came first. But yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was Ram with the Garf. Should have got it with the Garf, but it's been a while. Wait, hmm? The blade of wind burst the next instant, butchering Sanctuary's forest to shreds. I mean, I guess Ram was just trying to, you know, not the forest particularly. Not like she was going after the forest, but going after Garfield and the forest together. Also, why is she here? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll find out next chapter. This translation, I thought it was great, but I don't sure how I feel about it. It's, uh, mm, I mean, we're going to keep going with it because it's all we got now, but, uh, it's not great. It's not, not great. Um, Otto is a fucking amazing badass. Holy shit. Uh, like, just laying out all these traps for, like, multiple days, then going through them one by one through one, waiting for the last one to trick him to be thrown into it, going fucking Super Saiyan with the, the energy of the forest, and, I mean, yeah, like you said, he did everything he could, and it's all to Super now. There's, he, he did his maximum. And, like, God, he took such a beating. He broke his ribs. He was stabbed. He's been beaten. Like, ugh. I mean, he's not had a rough as Subaru's ever had it, but still. <laughs> it's pretty fucking bad. Uh, now, the next chapter is A Man of Only Good Timing. Hmm, interesting. I'll see you guys for that one. Until then, get the fuck out of here.